it wasn't just modernism. It was that it was to the fact that this was engineering supported the art of landscape architecture. Engineering was not the was nothing more than a a, a strut, a part of the foundation, you know, uh, of this profession. And whereas the majority of landscape architects were at the time being used because they knew how to grade and drain. And they also knew the Latin name of names of plants. But that was the, that was the fundamental reason for using a landscape architect. And Conrad was, was you know, through Burley Marx's, mainly through his work rather than, and Noguchi, and Noguchi, neither one of which were, you would call modernist, I don't think. You know, like at that time, who was doing modernist work? Kylie? If he was, it wasn't published. You had some of it, Halpern, Church was, was, had been doing his gardens. I really think if you were to define, you know, the modern movement without looking for the specific term, it's the breaking away of this replication of romantic natural forms. It's the, and that's really where, you know, in a very short time, I confront that the profession, we used to call it the, the limp wrist, you know, uh, syndrome. You got to a piece of white paper and you started to use, you know, forms that only came out of, soft forms that would come out of sweeping uh, lines. And it was, it was denying, you know, it was, it was, it was denying that landscape architecture was only valid if it imitated or replicated natural, sort of natural forms. And therefore the straight line was unnatural in nature. And th this, when landscape broke, when to tried to use more geometric, or use geometries that were more, more uh, resolved, more understandable, uh, such as modern form, you know, the rectangle, the square, the cone, all those, that you began to see a shift into a different interpretation of, of landscape.